but I have a few more things to say. This morning, I uh, started thinking about uh, what has it been in the last number of years? What has it been to be with you? And I think this passage of Scripture really fully elicits what we have been doing together. I went back and uh, actually looked back to my sermon, the first sermon that I preached here, June 27, 2010. And as I look around the room, I mean, this is going to be tricky to do, but honestly, a quarter of you is very right here. And that is exciting. Because you will remember what I said. <laughs> what I said was, there was a passage about what it meant to follow Jesus. And then the disciples, as they just walked along life, every single day, they just walked. And that was what they were called to do and invited to do. And Jesus invited them to walk along with him. And at the very end, I invited you at the beginning of this relationship as pastor and church, as friend, let's journey together and let's see where the road takes us. And here's where it takes us. And here's where we are. And this journey has been rich. It's been exciting. It's been sad at times. And has been rejoicing at times. I've looked back over the years and noticed the things that we have done and seen happen as a church. As a group of people bound together by one faith, one hope, one baptism, one Lord. And we have seen the world change. We've seen the world impacted because of who we are and what we've done together. And it's been because of God's work in our midst because of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is something that I've been continually asking you to think about and envision and see in the world as you walk out these doors into wherever you live and work and play and do life. Because sometimes it's a challenge. Sometimes there's days and weeks where we don't have a clue that the kingdom of God is really evident. We don't see it. And there's other times where it feels very real and very present. This past week has been exactly that for us. In the last couple of months. It's been very real, very evident. And your love, your care, your presence is evidence to us of those seeds of grace that God has been working and moving and building this thing called the kingdom of God. And we need to be a part of it. There's another verse that uh, is really I'm very fond of in Scripture. It's from one of Paul's letters to the church in Corinthians, in Corinth. Corinthians, he writes and he says to them, I came to you with wobbly knees, with anticipation, with nervousness. I didn't come with a lot of eloquent speech and a lot of fancy language. And those of you that have sat around the dinner table with me, you know, I can say some pretty silly and goofy and sometimes stupid things. That's what this journey is about. We come to each other present and real. We come to each other in a place to be able to share our lives and be vulnerable. And that is what allows the soil of our lives to be anticipating the seeds of God's grace so much. If you'll notice that farmer goes out scattered, very crazy, very extravagant, very generous. Beyond everything you've ever imagined, you've ever thought possible. And I know I've heard some of your stories. You've shared your life in places and ways in which you've seen God do things. Friends, that's what this is about. That's what this kingdom of God is about. A generous God scattering seed, throwing grace everywhere, almost very helter skelter. Seemingly almost blase. But that is the God that we know. The God that invites us into relationship. And that has been what has created this fertile ground community here in this place. And that farmer gets to just watch it. He walks day and night, walking side by side with each other. We've done that in parks in our neighborhood here. We've done that in our local school. We've done that in committee meetings. And we've done that in worship. Especially done around the table. Tables in our home, in our back porches, in our front porches. It was 
especially done around this table. This table of grace. Where we get to be a play part of each other's lives and listen to each other's stories and be authentic and be real and vulnerable. And we hold each other. We hold each other's hands. That's the kingdom of God. You have felt it, you've experienced it, you've seen it. And here's the great part. We look back and we see how it's been measured. John, I don't want to correct you too much, but I do have some numbers to share about my first Sunday here. There were 79 of you that first Sunday. And from what I've been told by many people present, that was a big Sunday. And I learned that the next week when there were 35 of you. Sometimes we were 
So you see, this thing doesn't start, this thing doesn't happen one magic bullet because then you've got a man alone who gets replaced by Teresa. We thought the world was falling apart when Teresa left. Because at the same time, all our tenants in the building were somehow quitting or dying or going away. We were like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? They provide us money. And today we have partnerships with tenants in our building who see us as collaborating with them some of you in this room are because of that. You see, this whole network that we're building is called the Kingdom of God. And friends, we receive seeds of grace, and we give seeds of grace. Today, we simply mark a spot along the journey. This is actually what ancient Israel did. A couple weeks ago, we sang a hymn and talked about my Ebenezer stone. Maybe that phrase to you is like, they talked about marking places along their journey, along the path. Marking it, remembering this is what God did here in this place. Today is another one of those days. And so will next week, the future weeks, and the time together. Because this church that has 150 years of ministry and life is built up of you and so many others that have gone before us and built upon. More importantly, built upon Jesus Christ. My life verse is Acts 20, 24. It says that I have, I have well, some of you are like, I consider all things worth nothing to me, if only I may give witness and testimony to the gospel of God's grace, the good news of God's grace. You see, it's built upon that. And we get to share it with each other. And we get to hold on to it. And that gospel, that grace, that good news. That's why you want to be here. Because of what God has done. And we built upon that promise. And we will continue to build upon that. So this day, as we mark this place and this time, this stone, these moments, remember them. It's pictures, it's glimpses, expressions. God's grace among us. Thank you for sowing seeds of grace among each other. But thank you for sowing seeds of grace to me, to my family, for taking care of my children, for loving them, for making them laugh, for letting them run around and be crazy in here, but being their friends, being their parents. Thank you for taking care of Anne, my wife. Thank you for the ways in which you have brought her into your life and given her a special place and trust and love and care. Sometimes we've got hard not to. It's a great person to hear. Thank you for giving us the seeds of grace as well. We're grateful. We're thankful. Because God has done great things. We will continue to do so. Thank you for so much. Seeds of grace. Celebration breaking into freedom. You're the song, you're the song of our hearts. We cast aside our shadows, trust you with our sorrows. You're the song, you're the song of our hearts. Dancing to the rhythm of your heart Rising from the ashes to the stars You're the joy, joy, joy Lighting my soul The joy, joy, joy